Hi, I made a video. It's this video right here that you're currently watching. I put all of this text over here and all of these images over here and yeah, this is the video that I made. Except I didn't make this video, did I? I just moved some boxes around in my video editing software. All the objects and text boxes and what have you were generated for me. Really, I couldn't cobble together a slideshow without the tools this program, DaVinci Resolve, provides. And while we're here, it's really rather a stupendous program. Hashtag not a shill. But Blackmagic, if you want to send me free stuff, I wouldn't say no. But, you know, Resolve didn't make this video either. In fact, it would be pretty useless software if not for the operating system underneath, providing the framework for application runtime. That's doing all the heavy lifting, really, dealing with storage and memory allocation and handling errors and providing security and versatility and operational templates for all the software written on top of it. So, in actual fact, this video is beholden to the dictatorial whims of Microsoft. <laughs> did, did I say dictatorial? Uh, I, I meant pleasant and warm and ever embracing. But then again, the operating system would be nothing without a processor to actually do all of its processing. The actual creator of this video was the CPU at my PC, diligently performing instructions to coordinate the rest of the PC's components in displaying the UI, reacting to my mouse and keyboard input, playing the audio, rendering the video, calculating all the calculations fast enough to make the whole thing seem like magic. It's not magic though, it's several decades worth of improvement on the initial CPU architecture design proposed by mathematician John von Neumann, which itself is indebted to developments in discrete mathematical logic in the 19th century, such as George Boole's Boolean algebra, which ultimately grew from the field of algebra perfected by Islamic scholars. Based on ancient Greek mathematics rescued during the fall of Rome, itself a descendant of theories created by the Babylonians to understand this newfangled thing called counting that some guys probably invented to figure out how many bushels of wheat they were trading. Hey, dude, do you wanna maybe like you know wanna maybe like maybe you know in invent you know invent counting? Okay. And that's not even including the internet, computer graphics, programming languages, networking systems, economic pressures, political systems, philosophical paradigms, societal progress, artistic understanding, rhetoric, and language required to make any of this possible or make any sense to another human being whatsoever. Everything ever done or created or thought about has brought into existence this mesmerizingly intertwined web of knowledge leading straight to the current moment in which you're watching this video that I and every other part of society played an instrumental role in creating. So we must conclude that this video is the ultimate conclusion of all of human history and as such is the most important, incredible, insightful entity ever created. Ever. Uh, that's, that's quite a responsibility I've, I've got. I mean, how does a mere mortal like myself even try to live up to all of that? What could I even put here? What could possibly make this video worthy as the ultimate end of all civilization? Well, I guess there is one option.